My name is Adam Wilson. I'm Ian Bernstein. And I'm going to show you a commercial demo of Gearbox. Hit the button. The garage door. So in this video, as you can see, I'm controlling this robotic ball with my smartphone. And you might ask yourself, well, what's so great about that? Well, it's a robotic ball controlled from a smartphone. <laughs> Four years ago when I woke up in the morning, I was thinking about how do we get Adam and I into tech stars? How do we make our idea big? And now when I wake up in the morning, really I'm just thinking about how do we get every kid in the world to know what our products are and be begging their parents to buy them. To get to this point, right, from Ian and myself hacking robots from stuff we bought at Hobby Lobby to a you know 40 person company here in Boulder, I mean it took a lot of hard work and a lot of talent and our arts team, our software team, our firmware team, they all go beyond what is normally possible. People don't consider Orbotics just an employer. They consider this part of their family and they consider this building the things they want to build, building the future of robotics, you know, programming, everything. We wanted people to be creative with the product and do cool things with it. Part of our culture, to take things apart, discover them, to make products better, to make things that have never been seen ideas that have never been seen. The toy market, right, this, this industry is ripe for disruption. Somebody needs to take these toys and make them all connected and make them social and make them better. Those guys, I mean, they're losing market share right now. And that's because when kids are seven or eight years old, their parents are just handing them iPads. You really lose something when your play experience is just tapping on a piece of glass. This toy is not static like the ones that they used to get. They used to get a toy and it is what it is. But Spiro is better today than it was a week ago, and that had nothing to do with the hardware, it was just people making more software. This is the power of robotics. This is the power of what we're trying to create. We're not just improving upon the things that already exist. We are creating a category. We are defining the way that people interact with hardware and software together. We've spent the last four years developing the technology and the infrastructure. I think we're far ahead of everybody else. We know all of our competitors. We've made all of our mistakes. We've built our relationships. We've done all of the dirty work. Now we just need to throw a bunch of coal into this fire. That's all there is to it. Just thinking about like how rewarding that is to be a company where you know we're changing the way people play and changing the way people have fun. All your hard work being manifested in something that you know somebody picks up off the shelf and is amazed at. I mean that's it's been incredible.